Well, tonight, four different close calls at airports across the country are under investigation, including an Orlando-bound flight clipped on the tarmac in New Jersey. New 6's Eric Von Enken is at the Orlando International Airport tonight, looking into the near misses at other airports and what MCO is doing to prevent them. When planes are parking or taxiing or taking off or landing, that's when they're most likely to crash into each other. It happened again on Friday at Newark when a United Airlines Dreamliner was towed too close to a United 757 with passengers trying to get to Orlando. The Port Authority of New York and New Jersey Aircraft Rescue Firefighting Team responded, as it does for all aviation emergencies at Port Authority airports, to help evacuate the plane load of people who were put on another United flight to Orlando. And then there are the more serious near misses. Delta 1943, cancel takeoff plans. Delta 1943, cancel takeoff plans. Rejecting. Like in January at JFK in New York when a Delta flight was accelerating down the runway and had to abort a takeoff as an American jet crossed that same runway. Ramp workers and air traffic controllers rely mostly on what they can see on the tarmac. But at Orlando's Terminal C, they're getting help from cameras, radar, and sensors to see what they can't. Before the $2.8 billion terminal opened in September, we got a tour of the tarmac. Notice there's no air traffic control tower here. Burns, a specialized transportation engineering firm, brought a system here to Terminal C called virtual ramp control. These pictures came from Burns' website showcasing the technology, which uses the digital eyes to cover every corner of the tarmac and fill in blind spots, displaying the live feeds on video screens so controllers can see everything everywhere and avoid close calls or worse. Virtual ramp control has been used at other smaller airports around the country for years, but Burns says that MCO is the first large airport authority in the entire country to get this system. At Orlando International, Eric Von Anken getting results. News 6.